What up everybody, Passion here. I hope you're having a great day. Um, today, I am talking about one of my recent projects. I was contacted by a mom who had a son who was going into his senior year and wanted me to help out design the senior parking spot. Now here in Texas, that is something they do here. They paint the parking spot for the seniors, the class of, a positive message, something creative. And she had a spot for her son, and I believed her son's friend was leaving as a senior, so they were both involved with it. So she had an idea of, of what she was wanting to do, but wasn't quite sure about the details. She wanted to add their names in graffiti style and maybe the school logo. So worked on a couple ideas. They painted the background. I just came back and added the detail letter. later. I haven't done that much graffiti style fonts, but this project was pretty fun. Uh, I made the, the stencils to do the font. I made the stencils out of large poster boards to where I could get the scale of the names correct. Uh, I mean, the sizing correct. And... Um, and then I did the school logo in a large size stencil. I met up with them at the school and it was a windy day. Oh my God. Thank God that they met me there because they were a big helping hand. Mom and her daughter was there. They helped me hold down the stencils. They helped me just all over the place. They played wind guard. I kind of felt bad because she hired me and they sat there and helped out half the time. So they were a big blessing, but it was a kind of a simple job. Go add the detail, go add the basically everything she asked for. And overall, simple project. The mom was happy. She got exactly what she wanted. And um, it was something unique. I've never done a senior parking spot before. Something I learned on this project was... I have a vinyl cutter over here that I can make t-shirts and decals and I can cut out different things, but I didn't have any stencil material. And this was a large scale job. So what I ended up doing was <laughs> I took the blade out of my cutter and I put in a Sharpie. I was able to add a Sharpie to it and it traced out the font letters of the graffiti names and then I put those names together and then I just cut it all out by hand and it really helped me do a large scale stencil this way and uh, I had someone ask me why didn't you just cut this cut the stencil out with the blade and from what I could see I didn't think my blade could cut the poster board but this worked out great because I was able to size up the letters, the length and everything that I wanted, draw out the names, put all the stencils together to make a large scale stencil. So this was a great little learning curve for me of just trying to do the best of what I had. And um, overall, it was a great learning experience. I had never done a senior parking spot and um, it was a lot of fun. So... Just wanted to share that with you. Um, I got some other stuff coming down the pipe. So thank you for watching my last video. I had some great support on the New Orleans mural that I did. So anyone who liked it and commented and messaged me, I appreciate it. So until next time, be cool, be safe, tie your shoes, and always live your passion. Peace.